Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ghost Prime, and I'm going to take a look at Kingdom Deluxe Slammer. Now this is the partner to the Titan class Metroplex. He is a weaponizer figure, much like Brunt and the other ones, where he comes apart completely and can be formed into weapons, or, or in this case, he actually forms into a tank, and he is a tower for the Titan class Metroplex. This That was the first Titan that came out. So will we see a reissue of that one? Because this is sort of strange. This many years to get finally get his companion, something that I think probably should have been included in the first place. So without any further ado, hit that like button, hit the thumbs down button if you have to, subscribe if you haven't, and let's get to the review. Okay, and we'll move on to the box art here. And it is the standard King of Box Art. You got some really nice rendered images on the side. I like the box art to show these these images. But let me know if you're in the comments if you guys are interested in continuing to see this because if I if you don't watch the boxes, uh, it's kind of wasting my time and yours. Uh, so on the back shows the weapon weaponizer mode, shows the tank mode, robot mode, and the different pieces. It does not show the mode that he becomes like the tower mode, which is interesting. I don't understand why. Uh, but he can become a tower mode too. Bottom's nothing, top just has the logos. And opening up the box, get everything out, this is what I got. Uh, this piece right here is, I guess, his only accessory. He is an accessory, as the, the whole robot is, so uh, not really, you know, much to say there. But this is his barrel piece. This is actually on the back side, so be careful if you open it. You don't throw this piece away. I don't know why they do that. It's a really bad spot to put things. Here is his instructions. Instructions, of course, are done in the same uh, black, gray, and green. It does not, again, show the tower mode to put on Metroplex. Now, I, again, I don't know why. Uh, maybe they, they're they not going to really reissue the thing and they don't want to put it on. I, I have no idea. It was, an, it, it was a weird thing to be like, yeah, he could do it when they showed it off to collectors, but then uh, not actually showing anything in the actual official documents. Now, it does come with a card, as all the kingdoms do. This time I got the Ark. And as we all know, the Ark comes crashing down. I think this is my second Ark. I, I, I don't remember. Golden disc on the back. Moving on to the figure. I'm getting him out of the box. This is the way he looks. This is the kind of the way he's, he's set up in the box. I did add the can in there. He looks very good. I like the robot mode, love the head. He's very blocky, definitely has a G1 sort of appearance to him. One thing that's very cool is that he, so he is a weaponizer, so he turns into weapons. However, this piece right here, these three pieces right here on the back all come apart and this could actually form into its own set of two weapons, which he can hold, which look very cool. So really all you need to do to do that is just disconnect it Pull it out from the back. Take these treads here. Take, take them apart. Get this piece here. Take this piece off the front and you have this little area here has a little rolly on the back. So take the cannon, stick the cannon on one of the two ports, if I could get it in focus, like that, and that actually becomes a cool looking gun. It actually looks amazing, actually. I think this actually really works as a gun. Take the tank treads right here, here on either side, and then peg them together. You have this to the bottom here. The bottom piece you just took off. Put it on like this, with this facing this way. And take the, the robot, he has a five millimeter peg right there. Tab that in. And there. He has a chainsaw hand. Groovy. And let's do some size comparisons real quick. So here he is with his partner, six gun, also a deluxe weaponizer. And Brunt. So they're all about the same height. 
Here he is with another deluxe wheel jack. So his, his height is definitely that of a deluxe. Now, one thing I, before I get into articulation, there's one thing I definitely want to mention is this waist piece right here. On mine, it was very loose. When I got out of the package, I could, this thing would just kept on falling and falling. And this, was, this was super, super, super loose. Like it's still not like, but it's tight now, right? This would just fall, but it's, that's as tight as I could get it. I just tightened that screw right there and it fixed that problem. Um, and that's a really easy fix. Hopefully yours is the same. I don't know, maybe they tightened yours, maybe yours is like that out of the box. But just thought I should mention that. So let's take off the weapons real quick so I get a good, so nothing will get anything in the way of the articulation. So for articulation, his head is on a ball joint. You do get some up and down, 360, little side to side, an inquisitive look, waist 360. He doesn't really have an ab crunch, but because of the joint there, he could kind of move it up. Or like arches back upward. His shoulders come out that far, 360. He has, of course, the bicep swivel, which is actually a joint here you can remove. Bend to the elbow, 90 degrees. Legs, pretty far, back and forward, like over, over, you know, way over. I mean, you got tons of spots, space there. Uh, see on the side, that high. He has the thigh swivel and his knee could go beyond 90 because he uh, partly due to transformation he does have ankle rotation or an ankle tilt sorry all the way down so you get him in some pretty good poses I and I, I enjoy the way this robot mode looks I think he's, he's really cool so he has four modes three if he follows instructions first let's 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 get him into his tank mode. So let's take his arms apart. Take his legs off here. We can go ahead and leave this waist piece on. Take his head, turn that around, fold it in, put that piece away. Take his arm here. These arms here. Okay, put these around to the side. I believe these go like this. So you want to put both of these kind of like in this position here, kind of tab together these via these tabs right on the bottom. You can see those are the front side of his shoulders. Put them like that and go ahead and put that aside. Take his legs, his feet here, with the feet all the way out. The fold up the leg on both sides. Like that and go ahead and put that aside. So since we already took this apart, we're just going to take this, take this all the way apart, put it together this way. We're going to put this back together. So there is a slot here that goes for this and a peg and a hole. So these go in like that, either side. So you have like this piece again, just kind of how it was out of the box. Take this piece. And this piece, go ahead and stick peg on the end here, the barrel. Take, let's first off, let's put, there's these two pegs, let's take the arms, put them down in here. So you have something that looks like this. This is actually kind of a cool thing you could do too. This is my own little thing, kind of halfway in between here, but it's like a gun emplacement. So anyhow, moving on from this, if you take this piece, that pegs in the, there, goes around the side. You can see there's a peg there, hole there. And that just, if you could keep things from falling off. There we go. Take this piece, these pegs, peg holes, peg that front piece in. Take this, turn that around to the, the crotch, the larger crotch area is facing the back. Fold that in, get that in between the two pieces here. Put this on if you haven't already. This actually doesn't stay as tight as I would like on mine. Um, your mileage may vary. Go ahead and take the cannon, stick the cannon down like so. And there is the 
tank mode. I'm going to go ahead and take a close-up look at it. It's pretty good paintwork on it. Pretty nice. Uh, definitely something that looks like the G1 version. Lots of nice sculpted detail on it, as we've come to expect. It actually, it looks very cool. It looks very, very cool. So for some quick comparisons, here he is with his Generation 1 counterpart. So as you can see, a lot of the detail they used actually shows up on the Generation 1. So he's got like pretty much the same shape. They did a really good job at mimicking this. This sort of, uh, like all the different lines on it. My stickers are real bad on this thing. Uh, I mean, the top, you got the lines at the top. The barrel looks good. All right, it's exactly the same shape, only bigger. Uh, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic representation of this. Here he is with Wheeljack. So he's got a pretty good size on him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly into the tower mode from this because it's the easiest thing to do and you can compare it to the G1 and then we're going to attach it. So we're going to do that before we do the weaponizer. We'll do the weaponizer mode last. The weaponizer mode is actually very, very cool with this guy. Uh, kind of a surprise. I, I kind of don't use them for the weaponizer modes, but I love some of them. This one's, this one is exceptional. Uh, he definitely looks the best we've gotten in a long time. So anyway, it's really easy to get into the, the, the tower mode. So you just kind of take the barrel off here because you're going to need this piece. Take this, these two pieces apart. Stick this on the bottom right here, like that. Then you're going to take the waist out, move it up, and then move that around. And then put this on one of the legs. They have something that looks like that resembles this. So. There's the two tower modes. I mean, I guess realistically you could leave this on for the tower too, for generation one, but it does a good job as a tower. So let's see how this looks on Metroplex. Okay, I have Metroplex here mostly transformed. And so what you're gonna wanna do is, there's a peg, there's a peg hole right here. It's a five millimeter port. If you did use repo label stickers, it'll cover this up. So you just want to, you can feel it through there. You kind of cut it out or however you want to do it. You take this here pig and just stick that right in there like so. And so you have the tower and it stays. It's solid. And it looks pretty good there. That's where it shows when they did the reveal for this figure. So if you have a Metroplex, it's now complete. All right, for the next one, we're gonna go ahead and start with them taken apart here. So just go ahead and get them all apart. And then you're gonna wanna do is, let's take the, make the chainsaw weapon again, just like I showed you before. Two pieces together. Chainsaw, put that aside. Gun. And you want to take these. These are supposed to be his feet. You take so you take his shoulders, and they're gonna make be on the opposite side. So this is his left arm, and that's his left. So you take this. And you take left side. You put it there. I stack that aside. Same thing here. These are gonna be on the feet. This piece here is the backpack. Go ahead and put these out aside here, the waist piece. Take the feet and gonna stick them like that. This peg hole here. Stick that on like that. Second verse, same as the first. Like that. Now I'm gonna use wheel jack for the weaponizer. Just start to be weaponized, just because that's what they use in the instructions. And he's readily available. We're gonna move this like this. It does say take these off, but we're gonna leave them like that because that works. Then go ahead and just stick this backpack piece directly in that five millimeter port on his back. Right, lay him down. Feet. Feet off the side like that. Put the peg holes there. 
Again on the other side, move this out. Stand them up. You kind of need the feet things. I never liked the feet things, but you need them to, to make them stable. Let's move the camera up. Gun. Now you can stick the gun either on the side of his arm like this or have him hold it. Either works just fine. Same with the chainsaw. And there he is, kind of all weaponized up. I really like the idea of these giant missile pods here as the legs. I, I, I think that's that's incredibly cool. That's something that is really, really awesome to do. It is a big backpack, and my, my knees have a hard time holding this thing up. But as you can see, it is, it is a really cool weaponizer and actually adds a lot to the figure to be weaponized. He looks very cool. It's something I dig, and I think the weaponizers are a lot of fun. So all in all, I give this guy probably about an 8 out of 10. Probably 8 because of a couple issues, like with, with looseness, and I had to tighten the screw on the waist or, or in order to get him to not really to stand and not really fall over. Other than that, he's a pretty damn good figure. I think he's a very welcome addition, and he's something that I've been waiting for for my... Titan class Metroplex for quite some time. Now, of course, if you have toy hack stickers, you're gonna need to make a hole where he's supposed to go. They should have included where he goes in the instructions because he actually has a lot of playability and that kind of takes away from that playability just a little bit. And also another thing that takes away from the playability is those of us that don't have a Metroplex. Now they go for a lot of money in the secondary market and releasing this guy is sort of an insult to injury because there's only so many of them. Maybe we'll see a reissue in the future. Who knows? They would be in their best bet to reissue that figure. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.